<laughs> Greetings, guys. It's your girl, kind of from Passion for Fitness. I'm stopping by first and foremost to say hello. Da. But also, I want to stop by. Let's talk about something that we all are concerned about. And what that is, is that part we call our waistline. Our waistline. I'm going to talk to you about three things about the waistline. Number one, how you take measurements. Now, because we have a space, sometimes people don't know exactly what's considered your waistline. Your waistline is where your navel starts, right here, that little button, belly, belly button right there. So you take your, your measurements, like so, like this, and you put it right here. You start right here where your navel is located, and you go around completely, okay? And that is considered your waistline. Now, number two, I know we all agree we could have, wish we want a smaller waistline, but do you actually know ideally what is considered a healthy waistline for yourself? Do you think about it? If you don't, this is how you can take. You're gonna take your height, divide it, and take your height in inches, divide it by two, and that is where it's recommended for your waistline. So for instance, I will use myself. I am 5'6", which means I'm 66 inches. That's 66 inches divided by two, which is 33 inches. And your, my waistline is 33 inches. So that's how it works, okay? Number three, let's talk about why it's so important to have a ideal or a small waistline or a healthy considered waistline. The health benefits. Yeah, you look amazing, I get it, but it's also health benefits. If you have a waistline that's uh, considered obese waistline, it can contribute to a stroke, hypertension, and so many other side effects that are not good. So I get it that everybody want a, waist, a nice waistline, but just also focus on why it's important to have a ideal waistline and just do your best, try it. But now that you know how to equip yourself as far as how to know your true measurements, where to start as far as your waistline, and just remember to make sure you do your measurement with no clothing on. However, if you happen to have, have to, but if you have to have your shirt on, make sure the next time you update your waistline or check it, you have that same clothing on for consistency. Okay, so I hope this will help. Number one, waistline, start at your navel and go completely around your, your, your back and all that, and that's considered your waistline. Number two, how to know what your waistline should be. You take your height, you calculate it via inches, divided by two. That's your starting point, okay? And number three, understand the why you need to have a nice size waistline to prevent strokes, hypertension, and so many other health issues related to having a obese waistline. Hope this helped, guys. I hope this helped. So I'm going to get going. Enjoy your day. Until next time, you know God bless. Bye-bye. Got to go. Got to go.